Hi, I'm Anupam, and I'm back. This is season two, episode number nine for the prediction series. So here we have a question about a ring in a magnetic field, and what happens to the ring when the magnetic field is switched off? So this is something that you may have encountered, or you should have encountered in your study of uh, electromagnetic induction. However, usually when students solve this kind of a question in the coaching uh, modules or coaching uh, material, there is an approximation involved there, which is uh, usually not mentioned. So here I am going to remove that approximation and uh, i'm going to show you how to do that question properly and correctly so let's just read the question first consider a uniformly charged insulated ring of mass m radius r and charge q placed in an external magnetic field which is present inside the ring and parallel to the axis of the ring so the magnetic field has a uniform value b inside the ring and zero outside so let me just draw the diagram so i have a ring of radius r and i have magnetic field which is present everywhere inside and a uniform with a uniform value b now the magnetic field is suddenly switched off and neglecting gravity compute the angular velocity acquired by the ring and this last sentence is the important one is the modification that i made in uh, the usual type of problem it's given that the self inductance of a circular loop of radius r is l all right so i would suggest you pause the video give it a try then you can take a look at my solution all right so this question basically has a time varying magnetic field the magnetic field goes from b to zero that means that will induce a non conservative electric field which will produce a torque and that torque will produce an angular velocity so let's take a look at the solution on the next page so i have a ring of radius r and magnetic field is b now one thing that we have to realize is when the magnetic field is switched off it is the external magnetic field that is switched off but the net magnetic field will not be zero because the charge ring will acquire an angular velocity which will produce its own magnetic field inside so one thing that we can say about the magnetic field produced by the ring inside it is that it it won't be uniform but what we can certainly say is that the magnetic field will only be a function of r on this imaginary circle at a distance r from the center at all points of on the circle the magnetic field will have the same value that is just the symmetry of the ring and therefore my electric field lines will be circular again by symmetry these will be my electric field lines non conservative electric field lines uh, and the direction just by lenz's law because the magnetic field inwards is decreasing therefore the electric field produced would be in the clockwise direction that is just lenz's law the emf has to be in the clockwise sense because the, the flux inwards is decreasing okay so at a distance capital r that is where the charged ring is let's say my uh, electric field is e so electric field will be clockwise and therefore can i write my torque as q e r about the center each dq charge of the ring will experience a torque of dq times e times capital r so the total torque will be q e r now can i say that the integral of this uh, torque torque dt that is that's nothing but the angular impulse that should be equal to change in angular momentum so that will simply be mr squared omega angular momentum acquired by the ring so i, I need to calculate this omega So let's take a look at this angular impulse. So that'll be integral of q e r d t. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create E M F here just by multiplying and dividing by two pi. And we take q outside. So I've just multiplied and divided by two pi. What is e into two pi? That is nothing but the E M F. So I'll have q by two pi integral e dt. And what is integral e dt? That is nothing but the change in flux. Uh, if you want, you can put a negative sign uh, because integral because EMF would be minus d phi by dt. And therefore, I'll have q by two pi times uh, the change in flux would be the final flux. now the final flux because the ring is rotating it will have a flux of l times the current self inductance times the current and what what was the initial flux b into pi r square now b was uh, uniform inside the ring so i can just write b into pi r square and what about current can i write current in terms of the charge charge divided by simply the uh, time period 2 pi by omega so just substitute current here 
and that's it you will get an angular velocity as so this is my angular velocity that will be acquired by the ring so i hope you understood how we wrote down the angular impulse and in writing the angular impulse in terms of the change in flux we had to ensure that finally the magnetic field due to the ring is not zero so that was taken into account when we wrote the term of l into i so usually this type of question that appears in coaching um, booklets or modules uh, they it is uh, understood that the self inductance is ignored that is not usually explicitly mentioned but uh, basically that means that we are ignoring the final magnetic field produced by the ring but in such a question where i have given the self inductance that means you have to take that into account as well so that's it for today see you at the top good night